Hi, my name is Jay Maurice. Uh, this is John Gould, um, and this is Lessons in Your Home Television. Thank you for joining us. John is a great friend of mine, and he also works here at Piano Distributors in Marietta, Georgia. Um, in addition to Marietta, Georgia, Piano Distributors is a national piano company, and uh, John's the expert on that. But John, thank you for joining me today. Pleasure to be here. Um, John, I've, one of the reasons that we've become friends is, you know, helping people, you know, get pianos, right? So that's how I met you, you know, I'm in the music education world, and, and so oftentimes our students are either coming to us after they've bought a piano, or many times people start piano lessons and, and need to get a piano. Maybe they're beginning on, a, on grandma's old piano or an old keyboard or something like that. Sure. And so we want to do a great job of getting them excited, and then they, they need to come and they need to get a piano. So what do you think from that perspective of someone buying a piano for the first time? What, what should they be thinking of? Maybe some tips, some things that you could think of that might help them and stuff they need to know. What's important? Yeah, absolutely. Well, tone, the touch, the tuning stability, and the value. Okay. Those are the four things. You know, with tone, uh, for most people, and I'm reading right from this because this is really going to help people. Okay. And it's already done, so I'm, I'm going to humble myself and, and use Great. what will help them. Right. Um, for most people, tone is by far the most important attribute of a piano. The only way to judge it is to listen. Uh, pl a play or have your salesperson play the same short piece on every With touch. Um, an unresponsive keyboard will frustrate beginners and accomplished pianists alike. So touches, of all the instruments you try, you'll find that Yamaha pianos are the most responsive through those keys and through that instrument. Um, tuning stability, uh, now I don't even need to read from here uh, other than, <laughs> right. than talk to any, any, any piano tech. Stability of the Yamaha piano, it's consistency from piano to piano, how well made it is, how, it's, uh, how long it lasts, uh, how long the tone and, and the, the, the heart of the piano lasts. You know, Yamaha pianos are made to, to last a lifetime. You know, if you just give them the basic care that they deserve. Um, the last thing that you know, will help people uh, you know, feel confident as they position themselves to make a good decision, um, whether they're upgrading their piano or getting a new one, is value. Um, in the final analysis, um, it values, uh, you, you need to get a good piano and, and make a good investment. And keep in mind that a good piano will last a lifetime. Uh, value depends on how carefully you choose and care for your piano. Um, you'll find that no piano surpasses a Yamaha. Uh, ask, you know, when people come, we have uh, the honor of, of helping them uh, connect with the right instrument. When people ask me what I do, I say I help people connect with their musical dreams. Right. You know, I don't sell pianos, that's not what I'm about. I'm about people and helping them get the, the right instrument at the very best price. And uh, they give us the privilege of, of visiting us. That's, uh, they're going to be treated like family. Great. A couple of questions. You got a couple of seconds for that? Sure. Um, and they are treated like family here. And, and that's why I especially have you know, grown to have love people at working with you. You play piano wonderfully. You're also an excellent composer. And you play, you. You, you, play, you play for the people coming in, you know, so like especially these first timers, maybe the kids are just playing, you know, very elementary music, maybe Twinkle Twinkle Little Star kind of repertoire at the very beginning. Sure. Um, is, it, is, it, um, is it appropriate enough for a parent, like you said, to have them, have them play the same thing on each piano? Yes. I don't know if the word simple was in there, but would it, be, it wouldn't insult you if someone said, can we play something simple? On every instrument, not at all, because you know you want to focus in on the on the tone of the piano, right, right. where you're listening, and uh, if there's too much you know going on, it's hard for you to hear how clear and distinct each note is. It is, you know, a lot of people don't know that um, you know with an acoustic piano there are some things that can be done to to change the tone and the touch of the piano. Right. Specifically, th those two things are referred to uh, uh, voicing, as far as stiffening or softening the hammer, making the piano you know warmer or um, if you stiffen the hammer, it's, it's, it's got a shinier, you know, more, more brilliant tone. Right. So you can personalize, you know, an acoustic piano, whether it's a vertical or, or a grand piano. And the touch can be regulated, too. You can, if you want a firmer touch or you want a very, what they would refer to as a buttery touch, if you play a lot of classical music like Brahms and Chopin, things like that. Right. So, uh, and a lot of the concert and artists, Yamaha you know, pianos, the big nine-footers and the C7s, they, um, you know, they're regulated for, you know, a performance level. Right, and that's why I think getting quality is the key. Because if you have a quality instrument, you can make the adjustments to tone and touch much easier than if your instrument isn't quality. It's true. And um, so we have some other videos that, that can be referenced too. If you look towards some of our interviews with some piano technicians who talk about the very same thing. Mm -hmm. But almost the fundamental um, 
um, thought which you've echoed there is that you have to start with quality instrument. You do. You can change things, but it has to be quality you're changing. And you know, it's it's important. You know, every every parent's heart is in the right place when they start with their kids, and they're doing the right things to connect their kids with music, and particularly the piano. We, you know, we we know that uh, you know kids do way better in math and science when they play the piano. There's uh, an enhanced synaptic development between the left and the right lobe of your brain when you do right. something independently and uh, with your left and right hand. And the best uh, studies right now reveal uh, credibly, uh, are very accurate and very well done that the average IQ increase in a child who plays the piano is about 34 wow. percent, which is which is pretty stunning. Yeah. Of course, you uh, you know as a teacher, educator, and a person who's been in this world for a long time, know that kids are uh, more confident when they play an Absolutely. instrument. It doesn't have to be the piano, but in this case, you know the piano just seems to be the, the best instrument for everybody to start with. I'm a little prejudiced in that way, but it's good. We're prejudiced in that way too, but everybody makes their own choice, and uh, for sure. Well, listen, I appreciate your time today. Thank you so much, it's a and uh, appreciate your help. My pleasure.